So Cena's just released a successor to its ever popular SMH5 and it's called the S5. So if you want to know what this unit can do, stick around because it's coming up right now. Connected. So unless you've been living under a rock for the last six months, you've probably heard that Cena's released a stream of new products culminating in this, the S5. Now although the S5 is very similar in its form to the SMH5, let me tell you, this is a different beast altogether. It's got a whole slew of new features, including voice control and an LCD screen. But to start with, I think we should probably take a look at one of the most important things you need to take into consideration if you're thinking about buying one of these units, and that's how it... So, whether you're buying a Bluetooth unit to talk to your mates or listen to a bit of babber, one of the things we always take into consideration and think is really important when we review this sort of product is the sound quality you're going to get from it. And let me tell you, Cena have really stepped up to the mark when it comes to the speakers they're putting in this unit. Now, as until now, the speakers you get in this unit you would have only been able to find in their flagship Bluetooth unit, the 50S. They produce much better bass tones and high notes, which in all gives you a much richer sound. So, hats off Cena. Well done to you with putting the upgraded speakers into this unit, because let's face it, this unit's only half the price of the S50. So primarily if it is the sound quality you're after, which should be up the top of your list somewhere, then this unit is really going to hit the mark for you. But now let's look at another feature you get, usually on a more expensive unit. Hello Cena, I'm your new voice assistant. So, when we review this sort of product, we generally like to put Google and Siri Voice Assistant to the test, because what we generally find is it only works well with the more expensive units. However, Cena have decided to adopt the latest Bluetooth 5 and integrate it into this system. So in theory, Google and Siri Voice Assistant should work brilliantly. But, let's put it to the test. As you can see, I've enlisted the help of the Mini Me test helmet. I've put my phone outside so it doesn't pick up on the microphone there, and I have started the screen recorder so we can see what's going on. Now, Cena tell us by pressing the little red button on the back, we can activate our Google or our Siri voice assistant. Okay, Google, who makes the best motorcycle? According to YouTube, the five most reliable motorcycle brands Harley Davidson, Kawasaki Motorcycles, Yamaha Motor Company. And Bayerische Motor and Verkerag. Never heard of the last one, bit controversial, eh? OK, Google, direct me to MSG Bike Gear. So what this is doing is it's going into your sat-nav and it's basically picking up where you want to go and directing you there, as a good Google Voice Assistant should do. Let's try one more thing. OK, Google, who makes the best YouTube motorcycle kit reviews? Sorry, Bobby Max, that would be Rosilla. Don't lose the day job. I guess if you're the sort of person that wants to sit and stare at the outside of your helmet and say how pretty it is all day, <laughs> instead of getting your head inside it and going for a ride, then yeah, the little LCD screen's probably going to be right up your alley. And yes, it does look nice, and yes, I would much rather it be there than not be there. However, when your head's in the helmet, it's about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. Now, Senna tells us that it's going to make setting up the unit much, much easier with this little screen on it. But what I say is if you've got the Senna Utility app, you're probably going to be using that because that's going to make your life a lot easier than using a little LCD screen. So yeah, it's got a nice LCD screen, we like it, but I'm not sure whether it needs to be there. So, like all good Bluetooth units, the S5 also has intercom capability, and you can connect the unit up to four different headset units at any one particular time. However, you can only speak to one person at any particular time, so what we're saying is it doesn't have a conference feature like some of the more expensive units out there have. But that's not to say it's not a good unit. You can get up to about 700 metres direct line of sight, and one of the things that we really liked about the unit is your ability to music share. So if you're out on your favourite ride with a pillion on the back, you can both listen to your favourite music together. Now you might think there's a lot going on with this unit with all the different features and all the different functions, so it'll be hard to use. But to be honest with you, no it's not, it's an absolute doddle to you, so let me show you a bit about that right now. 
Now we know the 5S is absolutely feature rich and the sound quality is an absolute dream. However, is it easy to use? Now there's a bit of debate going on at the moment about whether one of these jog dials or just buttons are easy to use. Well personally I think a combination of the two makes this thing an absolute dream to work. Now as with most of the Senna units, all you need to do to turn it on is press the little button in the middle and the red button at the same time and it will turn itself on. Now we've got a little jog dial on the outside here which you can see is used to turn the volume up and obviously the volume down but this also controls the mp3 player on your phone so to start up the music what we need to do is press the button in for a couple of seconds and the music will start. Now the jog dial is also used uh, basically to skip forward tracks and come back tracks so to skip forward a track press the jog dial in twist and this will skip forward a track. To stop the music all we need to do is press the button in for a couple of seconds and the music will stop. Now to engage the radio we have a little red button on the back so we need to press that in for a couple of seconds like this and we get some radio playing as we can see there. Same again to skip channels what you need to do is press it in turn it round and that will put you to a new channel. So as you can see, again, the radio is very, very easy to use as well. Now you can use a jog dial on this unit for your speed dial as well, but to be quite honest with you, as you've got Google Assistant on here, you don't really need the speed dial because you can just tell Google to phone whoever you want it to phone and it will work it that way. So yeah, I would say as well as being feature rich and having a brilliant sound, yeah, it's uh, easy to use as well. Now moving a bit closer guys, because you're probably going to want to hear this. Now although this unit is absolutely fantastic, and anybody that buys it will be thrilled to bits with it, it's probably not the one I'd go for. Check one of these two out on the screen now. I think they're the ones I'd go for. Oh yeah, and I've left some links in the description down below if anybody wants to know a bit more about the 5S. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys if you've had any use from this video, and I'll see you next time.